What have we got here? The Bolt 52 cartridge. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Man, so much stuff. Ammo. More cartridges. Mag picks. More bits. More bits. More bits. More bits. More bits. Okay, that's everything in here. Well, there was not a vendor to sell anything to. So that's unfortunate. So we're going to have to start dismantling stuff. Oh, lovely. Don't need that. That's junk to sell. Skill and perk points. Lovely. Okay, where were we? We were doing heavy weapons, weren't we? Ignore 100% armor on critical hits. Are we still are we still trying to work that up? I guess we were. And then perks. Which one were we going for? Oh, it's not... Oh, wait, no, it is. I got both of these. Reset cooldown when using 25% and reset on crit. I, do, I didn't remember getting both of them. Uh, for each of your own kills, 20% down. Hmm. I think we said... Let's go with this one. all about getting them up as fast as possible. Cool, cool. Right, okay. Then time to have a good old sift through the inventory. Break down all this stuff. This is what? 22? Does anyone need a 22? You've got 32. 29. That will be a no then. Okay, guns wise, picked up a ton of stuff. Supper time. <laughs> Officer's spine. We, I thought we already had one of them. Oh, we do down there. Light machine gun 907. Do we have another of those? No. Light machine gun 320. But it uses light ammo and this uses energy, right? Oh no, this also uses Oh my god, what? What? Is that just straight up huge upgrade? Magazine size 90 light. Magazine size 90 light. But this does 320 and this does 907. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse- what? Ah, That's so much better. Insanity. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Plasma launcher. We still haven't tried. We still haven't tried whatever this is. We still haven't tried whatever this is. I'm just... I, I, I'm a sucker for just sticking with what I like, you know? I really am. It's, it's a bad habit. What is this? Shears. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a really bad habit, but... Just really like the stuff I'm already using. Ah. <laughs> I'm keeping all these things and then never actually trying them. It's it's bad. <laughs> do these these do have weight? Hmm. And all this junk needs to be sold. Okay, well we're above the limit for the moment. He says he picks up more shit. Hi there. Okay, so what are we trying to do now? Let's return to Sanjar and uh, the secret people's return to Velma. Right, yeah. Where's this one? 
Oh, that's all the way over there. Okay. Hmm. Getting the vibe. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. Getting the vibe that we should head up to Amber Heights. Because that's on the way up the road. Sounds good to me. I hope it sounds good to you too, because you're the ones watching. <laughs> it would be a shame if it did not sound good and you had no way of changing it. But I feel like, all things told, it's pretty good. Also, I guess they didn't respawn. That was actually just a different place and I didn't realise. Because we came from Only this direction. Find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Marauder ringleader. Hi. You got it, Captain. Put a donk on it. You got him. Nicely done. Oh, very nice, very nice. Hello. Oh my god, that's ridiculous damage. That is insanity damage. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. Wait, where did the... Didn't you kill a dude around here? Where did his corpse go? Oh, there it is. That is so crazy. <laughs> My goodness. Let's just keep following the road, I guess. Right, we've got 2,000 ammo for this thing, so I guess we'll keep it on hand. Are they sleeping? Raptors on spitters? I guess they are. Well, Lucky they can feet. stay sleeping. The sulfur pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Good to know. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's just follow the road, see what there is to find. I know it's kind of windy and... Not as the crow flies, but... Nope, you don't see me. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, all to the right. Oh, now of course I find a vending machine. Hi there. Pretty good, yeah. I'm, I'm just in shock at how much damage this does. To be quite honest. To tell you the truth. Okay, I... I'm going to go through my consumables. Uh, and sell a lot of them that I don't need. Uh, so, I will BRB. Okay, happy days. Done all the selling. Let's stock up on ammo. Because I'm rich. <laughs> I may as well buy out all the ammo I have available whenever that is possible. Cool. How much... Uh... Oh, wow. That didn't even take me down that much. I'm still at 182. I sold so much stuff. They must have all been really light. God damn it. I need to have more of a clear out then at some point. But not now. What is this? Sealed. Ooh. It's ominous. That is very ominous. Why would it be sealed? Adreno. I don't even know what could be... What is making me that heavy then, in that case? Selling all that stuff. 
was not enough. Hmm. Was not enough to make barely any difference. I guess it's the guns. It's just the guns then, I suppose. I just need to get rid. And stop picking them up. <laughs> well, I guess I can pick them up and then immediately delete them. Whoa, that's some lens flare right there. Holy shit. But there's certainly no point in, like, keeping them around, huh? Especially when I'm not even <laughs> swapping to them. I'm so indecisive. I'm like, maybe this will be great, and maybe I should keep it to try, and then I never do. Ow. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneak. Big time lol. Cool, blimey. Everyone all right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> apparently we're pretty good. Not sure where that guy went. The one he just killed, but uh whatever. <laughs> Combat is seeming... I, I was finding it a bit difficult right at the start of the game when I didn't have any companions, but now I've got these companions. Combat is seeming very easy. I mean, I'm sure there'll be a couple of fights with... I'm sure the Manta Queen will probably be tough and stuff, but I feel like for the most part, we're going to be all good from now on. Transition to Amber Heights. Okay, anything I could have a look for around the back before we go in? What is that? Sisty chops, no thank you. Helmet to break down. Don't need any of that. Oh, and ammo. Lovely. And a mag pick. Can't say no. Anything over here? No. Okay, let's see what Amber Heights is like then. Anthrocillin, new improved packaging. Antibiotics, anticleos, good for all that ails you. Purifies poisons, toxins, venoms, fight what nature inflicts. <laughs> Disclaimer, do not intake more than the recommended dosage and expect compensation for injury. There are many ingredients that have been found to be harmful to the human body. Regular use will decrease general lifespan. Anticleos is not responsible for financial damage to users' physical or mental well-being. <laughs> Amazing. What a disclaimer. Buy this, it's good for you. Disclaimer, don't, you can't sue us when it isn't because it's not good for you. <laughs> well, I uh, guess if you're gullible enough to do that, then you deserve everything you well, get. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. Oh, God. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Tell me more about yourselves. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about Raptodons and Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? <laughs> I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I bet you did. <laughs> I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. No. <laughs> what about Zora? She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. Should I know what sawbones is? She goes sawbones and finds is? people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Oh, a doctor? 
Where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Cheers. So, why did you come out here? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. <laughs> Bit weird. Uh, any idea where Tucker is? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Cool. Cheers. Cheers, my dears. Agitator. Move along. I ought to mention. I'm very agitated right now. Rioter. Folks. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Interesting. Everybody here looks wore out. Revolutionary. Just me? If not. Uh, it's probably not just you, no. Hello. This armor itches something awful. In this copy of Dissident Hunter, the hero braves the dangerous hellhole that is Monarch. Numerous edits are scratched into the text, and a number of vill villainous dissidents have had moustaches and hats drawn onto them. That's funny. Let's pop a save. Just in case I annoy this dude. This is Huxley's terminal, stay out, that means you. Due to external damage that can no longer store more than four logs. Dear diary, Graham taught me how to meditate today. You close your eyes and you breathe in real deep and try not to cough. But then you just listen to yourself. You know how sometimes you'll be hiding from a mantiqueen and you're trying to be quiet so you focus real hard on your breathing and you can hear your heartbeat and you think how this, how can this mantiqueen not even hear me? And all of a sudden you have to sneeze and it reminds you of that time when you were coming back with a delivery and as you were putting it on Zora's table you sneezed and it slipped and a bunch of things broke. <gasps> Meditating is like that, only you're supposed to think of these things on purpose. Graham calls it, I don't remember, Reco something. He says it's your own eternal truth, bubbling up to the surface and things you remember are what you're supposed to focus on and try and improve. When we meditated, I mostly remembered sit that sitting on rocks hurt. Maybe I'm supposed to toughen up my tailbone. <laughs> Diary 2. Zora's really smart, but you know what? Sometimes she can be such a bitch. I was supposed to get some info for her from Cascadia, but I couldn't find a way over without going through Marauders, so I gave up and stopped in at Fallbrook to pick up some supplies instead. While I was there, Chastity dropped in for a few games of Whist. She's so cool. She's always playing games there. When I lose bits, I get really upset. I don't have much, so losing what I have, it hurts, you know? But Chastity can drop thousands on a single game, and she's fine. Well, sometimes she drinks a bit and slams the table and storms out, but still, mostly she's cool about it, and I admire that. Anyway, when I got back, Zora yelled at me because I was a little late. Something about Medicine not getting here fast enough. Sigh. Graham just said to try not to lose track of time on my next run, and I promised I would. See, that's how you teach someone. Don't gotta yell and make them feel bad. Today, Zora gave me permission to buy ammunition from Bronson. I don't think I want to, but she said I should just in case. But guns are really loud. I'd rather just run away than shoot one. Still, I'm kinda proud. Zora said it was like a promotion for something I found in the wilderness. I think it's a code for a door, but I'm not sure why it's important. I can't even go near the place without getting attacked. I asked her what a promo promotion is, and she smiled in a really sad way and told me I shouldn't worry about it. This will be my last entry. Sorry, diary. You've been a very good listener, but our time has come to an end. This terminal was making a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and someone smashed it while I was out, and now I can't save more diaries. Milton can't fix it, and plus he says I should stop coming into his house to write when he's not around. Whoever smashed poor terminal, if you're reading this, suck sulfur. <laughs> And then I don't have Engineering 55. God damn it. Oh, I need Hack 55 and Engineering 55. Hmm. How close am I? Hack 43. And Engineering 49. Christ, not even close. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. He's not looking, is he? Nope. Thanks for your donations. Oh my god, what is this? What's in here that's so expensive? What? Shit. <laughs> uh, persuade. I was just leaving. I still ain't sure about this, but go on. Damn it. Hang on. 
I don't like that. I don't know. It's it's like he can hear me hacking it, but I didn't think there was any noise to hacking. I thought so long as you were out of line of sight, you were all good, but it seems like that's not actually the rule. So I'm going to reload this because I just didn't understand how the mechanic works. I thought so long as he couldn't see you, then you were fine to do whatever. So let me just quickly go through all of these. He's not going to see me pick these up, is he? Going silent. Good. Well, I would sure love to know what's in that box, but I guess I won't. <laughs> what a bunch of junk. Nothing useful. You're not looking, are you? Oh, hello. That is one big machine gun. And now I'm over encumbered again. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so annoying. All of you can go. God damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, that'll do. For now. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Up here? Bradford, hi. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the Outer Steads or what? Outer Stead, yeah. Way off to the south. You poor some bitch. I hear tell the dust storms get even worse out there. Welcome to the heart of Iconoclast country, brother. Cheers. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? Huh. <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. All right. Uh, perception. Somebody's organizing things. You've got posted guards. Every soul here knows to keep a weather eye out. Everyone's lost somebody to the wildlife. That didn't stop Miss Zora from picking a few souls and imposing a schedule. Be here then, leave there later. Downright on icon in icon Well, it ain't what we do. Hmm. <laughs> Take that on top of what happened on the northern expedition. She and Graham are exchanging harsher words than usual. Sounds like Zora's looking to stage a coup. What makes them such a big deal? When the Monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. You said they argue a lot? Well, sure. It's on account of how we all work. No iconoclast makes another do as they say just because. You gotta convince them. The Graham and Zora argue all the time just says the process is working. Vigorous intellectual debate. You see? Sure. Zora's saved nearly everyone's life. Do you get into that much trouble? Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty. The fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Sounds like you should move house. <laughs> See you around. Sounds like this is not the place to be. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Okay, anyone else to chat to? Huxley, hello. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Except you weren't locked up, but sure. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot, area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Jesus Wherever Christ. Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Probably for the best. <laughs> Without the kicking, I assume. 
Huh? Why? <laughs> Your leg? Oh, ha. You're funny. Thank you, I try. How'd you hurt it? Uh, I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up black good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. <laughs> So, how long are you going to be out of commission for? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Sorry to hear that. See you around. That is unfortunate, for sure. Who are you? Just a regular rioter? Is this stealing? Yeah, God damn it. Hello? Another rioter? Anything back here? Oh, hello. Another revolutionary. Rioter, rioter. Ash. Hmm. Oh, that's Tucker. I wasn't sure who we should talk to first, but Tucker's a separate thing. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, it's Captain Hawthorne. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wasn't it supposed to be a little boy? <laughs> Uh, you're Agnes's little boy from Stella Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Feels bad. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of... Danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long. Ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still <laughs> sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Fair enough. Uh, oof. Persuade 55. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. <laughs> what do you want to do about it? You're going back to celebrate. No, we're going to take the persuade option. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You survived outside of Stella Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Sounds good. Convinced him to return home. That's what we were wanting. Huxley, stay off this machine. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are going to go tits up around here. Anyone else, as long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders out whenever you can. Steam coming out of the roof. Pipes on top are going to burst. Oh, I need... An, oh, no. I need Engineering 55 to do this stuff. Science 55. Hack 55. God damn it. Dear Diary, haha, -ha, hey Zora, I figured out how to add work orders. Dear Diary, eat it, Hux. Hack 55. Medical examiner's residence, door sealed. Engage remote forced door lever operation. Well, I managed one. <laughs> Feels bad that you need such high stats to do that stuff. I guess I'm going to have to 
Yeah, because I'm I've been focusing on the heavy weapon. Hmm. Maybe I should. I don't know. I cannot believe that this assault rifle, like I'm doing a heavy weapon to the crit shots ignore armor on a heavy weapon. And I cannot believe that the machine gun, the huge machine gun, counts as light. And the little assault rifle counts as heavy. Is that not insane? <laughs> Is that not a bit nuts? Oh well. Okay, so I believe up here somewhere is going to be Graham and Zora. Uh, so we're going to have a chat with them in the next part. We'll finish off around here and continue on upwards up to Devil's Peak or whatever it is. Was it called Devil's Peak? Uh, Radio Free Monarch. Yeah, Devil's Peak. Hooray! My memory is actually all right for once. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching. See you then.